access to the cloud. Carolyn, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Marina. I really appreciate the invite. Uh, it's a pleasure actually to be here and uh, to have your um, uh, colleagues here. It's a pleasure. So let me just um, go off camera and start my presentation. Um, and so uh, this is my agenda for today. Um, I'll talk about Wes. Um, the credential recognition and what it means, uh, West Evaluation Services, uh, our application process, um, and the, there are tools that we have on our website, and you don't have to be necessarily a West client or applicant to have access to it. You always have access to it. And then um, at the end, I will go through the West Gateway program. Uh, whether you want to continue your education or seek professional licensing or employment in Canada and you have your education from outside of Canada, it is highly recommended that you um, go through um, evaluation. Now, a little bit about WES. Uh, through Wes's mission, uh, we help people learn, work, and thrive in new places. Um, we help society recognize the value of people's education and experience. Uh, the success of international students, immigrants, and refugees is the main drive of Wes's mission-driven initiatives. So as I mentioned, WES is an evaluation service, um, and um, we've been uh, uh, founded in 1974 and in Canada since 2000. In the Canada office, we have about um, 121 uh, staff. Uh, and in 2021, we've done about 360 plus thousands uh, of applications. Uh, these are our top 10 countries that we get a lot of evaluation or, um, sorry, applications from. Uh, and, um, uh, and of course, there are many, a lot of people apply to West from all over the world, but these are our top 10 countries. Uh, so again, as I mentioned, whether you want uh, to uh, get licensed in Canada or continue your education or use your education for employment uh, or to come to Canada uh, through Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, evaluating your degree uh, becomes uh, really uh, important. So uh, when, when it comes to uh, licensing uh, and you are within a regulated profession, you must get a license from an appropriate regulatory body or professional licensing body. Uh, each regulatory body has their own uh, pro, uh, pro procedures uh, and requirements. We highly recommend that you check with your respective regulatory body to learn about their uh, requirements. When it comes to evaluating your degree for education purposes, uh, if you plan to do, for example, higher education in Canada, you need to meet the admission requirements for each school. For example, um, when you apply uh, for a graduate school, one of the common requirements is having a bachelor's degree. Uh, schools would want to determine if your bachelor's is incomparable to Canadian one. Some schools handle this internally, and some are going to refer you to services like WES. Um, we highly recommend you contact the school which you are applying to just to learn about their admission requirements before applying to any evaluation services. Some colleges and universities might there have their own internal evaluation uh, or some programs might um, use West for admission. So that's why it's a great idea for you to uh, check in with the college or the university that you're applying to. Uh, when it comes to employment, uh, the credential evaluation helps employers understand the equivalency level of your education in Canada. Uh, for a lot of jobs, um, there is an educational requirement. So when you have an evaluation report, I highly recommend you mention that in your resume and in your cover letter, similar to the language um, on, the, uh, on the slide that says evaluated by World Education Services as equivalent to bachelor's degree, specializing in whatever your, um, your uh, uh, field is. In this uh, sample, it's computing engineering, but of course that language will change, depends on what your uh, report says. 
Um, when it comes to immigration, WES is one of the designated agencies by IRCC to provide educational credential assessment or ECA for immigration purposes. So please refer to IRCC's website um, for any immigration related questions. And one thing I want to add here that for IRCC's purposes, your West ECA is valid for five years from the date of its issue. And West Evaluation Services. Now, in this section, I will explain the different types of evaluation reports we offer and how to apply to us. Uh, one of the evaluation reports WES offers is called Document by Document Evaluation which includes your Canadian equivalency summary and under your credential analysis, we state your name as it's written on your educational documents, how we authenticated your documents and your major field of study. Generally, this report um, is recommended for school admissions and employment purposes. Now, the fee for document by document evaluation is $117 for West Basic Service and $152 for West ICAP Service. Uh, later on, I will explain uh, the difference between the West Basic Service and the West ICAP Service. The second evaluation report that we offer is called Course by Course. Course by Course is an evaluation report that contains all the information in the document by document evaluation and some additional details about your education. Now, the significance of the West Course by Course evaluation report is the converted credit hours and grades. So what we do is we convert your credits and grades from the system you you have studied to Canadian credit system and grades. And what we also do with course by course evaluation is that um, we also provide your GPA, which stands for grade point average, and uh, which is important information that schools are, are always interested to see because your GPA level um, sometimes is part of um, admission requirements. Um, now, the course by course uh, fees are, um, it's $214 for um, West Basic Service and $249 for West ICAP Service. One thing I want you to keep in mind here that West fees are per application or per person, which means we will evaluate all your degrees for one fee. Now, for those of you who might already have a West evaluation, but it was done for immigration purposes, now that you are in Canada, you need to update the uh, or upgrade your um, immigration report to a standard West report because the immigration report is only used for immigration purposes. Now that you're in Canada and you need to go back to school or for employment or you're seeking licensing, uh, you need to upgrade it. And you can upgrade your immigration report by um, step number one to a login into your West account that you already, uh, you already created when you applied to us. Uh, in step number two, you will choose whether you, this upgrade is for licensing or is it for going back to school or is it for employment. Then you will choose whether you want a document by document or course by course evaluation. If you have a recipient, you can always add your recipient also. And then um, you pay the upgrade fee and then you will get a brand new reference number um, and we will evaluate your, um, uh, uh, your degree now uh, through the standard um, evaluation. And the upgrade fees are like, if you are upgrading from immigration report to a document by document report, it's $50. If you're upgrading your immigration report to a course by course, um, report, it's 100. And let's say for some of you, you've done West evaluation a couple of years ago, and it was the general document by document evaluation, but now you're applying to schools or to licensing bodies, and they need a course by course evaluation. Again, you pay an upgrade fee of 100, and you will get a brand new report, course by course report. 
The degree equivalency tool, uh, in, um, we have this free tool for you that you on, on our website, of course, that you will know your WES equivalency before you pay any fees to WES. So you can use this free tool to learn about your Canadian equivalency before applying to WES. But one note here that we only have degree level credentials in this database. So if you only have high school, you cannot use this free online tool. So this is a sample. So in this sample, the applicant has inserted two of his or her degrees, um, a bachelor and a master's, and received the equivalency using this online tool. One thing I want to stress here that this tool does not replace our formal evaluation, and it's just a tool to be used to preview what your credentials are equivalent to in um, Canada. Uh, ICAP, I promised you that I will explain the difference between the West Basic and West ICAP service. So what ICAP is, ICAP is International Credential Advantage Package. So um, through West ICAP is a service that we provide where your verified transcripts and evaluation reports are stored in West's database. So as you know, WES requires your uh, official documents to come directly from your institution to WES. Once we receive it, it will go and be saved in our database. So with that, we can send your completed evaluation report and verify transcripts to the institutions and licensing bodies. Of course, um, uh, this service saves time and money for you, so you can avoid to arrange multiple transcripts to go to different institutions or organizations in Canada. So you also will receive a West Digital badge when you have a West ICAP service. So the difference between the West Basic service and the West ICAP service is that through the West Basic service, your recipient will receive only your WES report. But through the WES ICAP, they will receive both your WES report and the transcript that WES has received directly from your institution. So that's why the fee difference between the WES Basic and the WES ICAP service. Uh, now I will go through how you can apply to WES. Um, the required document page is very important page that you need to read in detail uh, because the institution uh, about uh, what uh, documents we require from you and how to submit them uh, is mentioned here. So depending on the country that you've studied in, it is important to carefully follow the provided instructions on this page just to make sure that your evaluation reports will be completed on time. So once you are on this page, by selecting your country of education and by entering information on your credential and your school, you can view the requirements for your country of education. And as I mentioned, a WES's reputation among schools and licensing bodies is based on our very strict document requirements. So we require the academic transcripts to be sent to West by the issuing institution in a sealed envelope or to be authenticated by respective authorities in your country. Uh, West also accepts your educational documents sent digitally with secure electronic file transfers protocol by your school. Uh, up to today, we've partnered with thousands of institutions to receive documents electronically. Again, by visiting our required document page, you can learn whether your school is already capable of sending your documents to us digitally. Now, when it comes to applying to West, it's just basically three steps. So in step number one, you apply uh, to, uh, you actually fill out the West application after you reviewed the document requirements for your country. You fill out the West application, you get a West reference number. In step number two, you arrange uh, for your documents to come to West according to our requirements. And step number three, once we receive the documents, we um, our evaluators will ensure that we have received um, 
we have received uh, the required documents in the manner specified for the country of education that you studied in and your credential. And if you have a standard West file, we need seven business days to do the evaluation and send you your copy. And if it's an immigration file, we need 35 business days to do the evaluation and uh, send you um, uh, the, uh, the copy of your report. And in immigration files, uh, IRCC will receive um, an, uh, your report digitally sent to them. If you are applying to schools, licensing bodies, or employers, I highly recommend you add them as a direct recipient of your West report as they prefer to receive your West report directly from us. Um, I'm happy to inform you that you no longer need to uh, fax or mail your documents that require from you, uh, because there are some documents like, for example, if your documents are not in English or French, um, you need we, to supply <clears throat> translation, and those translations can come from you. Um, and sometimes in some countries, copy of the degree certificate can come from the applicant. So in those kind of documents, you can just log in into your West account and um, up, uh, upload those directly into your account yourself. Uh, West resources and tools. WES is committed to the success of its internationally educated applicants, so we offer free tools and other resources to engage and inform our applicants as they work to achieve their goals. Um, so I already talked about and shared information about WES degree equivalency tool. Uh, the West Advisor Block is a portal that offers advice on education, employment, and licensing with resources to help internationally educated professionals advance their career goals. Uh, West Advisor Newsletter is if you subscribe to this newsletter, you will receive a bi-weekly newsletter with helpful articles and webinar invitations. So, and basically our webinars offer information to assist internationally educated professionals in their quest to pursue higher education, licensing or employment in Canada. So if you go to wes.org forward slash CA forward slash subscribe, you can subscribe to this, um, uh, uh, to this newsletter. Um, so through your My Account, you can log in and get a lot of um, uh, information about the uh, status of your application. So if you log in into your West account, you can track your package, you can update your information, you can edit your profile and upgrade your order. What another feature that uh, we have on when once you are logged in your West account is you can contact West very easily once you are on that page. So if you have specific questions regarding your file, by scrolling to the bottom of the page uh, and clicking contact us, you can send our customer service your queries and your questions, and our customer service representatives will reply to your um, questions. Um, West Digital Badge. So West Digital Badge is you can uh, securely display and share this uh, badge or your verified credentials with anyone in the world instantly. So the West Digital Badge can be displayed online for maximum visibility and recognition. Uh, you can share your badge in your email signature or in your digital resume and on your social uh, media profiles like LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter. So basically, once West completes your West report, you will re receive an automated email from West saying that your report was completed. And then within that uh, email also will you will have the opportunity to claim your West Digital Badge and it will tell you exactly how to claim it and then how to um, uh, show it uh, like um, showcase it in your social media. Last but not least, uh, the West Gateway Program. 
So the West Gateway Program assesses the educational credentials of individuals who, as a result of adverse circumstances in their country of education, have limited proof of or documentation of their academic achievements. Uh, so the evaluation reports issued through this program are designed to help displaced individuals continue their education, become licensed in their field, or take their next steps in their career in Canada. So let me just first share um, the seven eligible gateway countries. So if you are from Afghanistan, Iraq, Ukraine, Turkey, Syria, Venezuela, and Eritrea, uh, and um, you are um, currently in Canada, residing in Canada, and you are referred by a West partner organization, and you cannot get your academic documents sent by your institution directly to West, but you do have copies or scanned copies or even pictures of your documents, uh, will we be able to help you um, uh, apply to the Gateway Program um, uh, through our uh, partners? So we have, um, uh, like we work with network of partner organizations across Canada who refer individuals to West West's Gateway Program. So you don't come directly to West because the Gateway Program is not on our website, but you come to us through our partner organizations. And uh, these referral organizations will screen you and they will confirm your eligibility. And once they open the gateway application for you and you supply us with copies of your documentation that you have, like degree certificate or copies of your transcript, we West then will be able to um, uh, evaluate your education through the gateway program. And to see the list of these partner referral partners, if you go to our websites at wes.org forward slash CA forward slash gateway, you will see a list of um, referral partners that we work with, and you will can also read um, uh, information about the Gateway Program and um, and and uh, what is uh, this program doing for our um, individuals from those uh, seven uh, countries. So with that. Um, I reached my end of my presentation and um, I'm hoping that the information was useful and let's get to your questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Caroline. Thank you very, very much. I was really touched by um, the fact that you uh, considered Ukrainians um, for this credential evaluation and it's very close to my heart because I am from Ukraine and so I'm very, um, it's heartfelt things. Oh, my Thank you pleasure. Very much. Yes. It was a really great presentation. Thank you very much for the entire presentation. I was absolutely astonished. And so I will leave it up to my colleagues to ask questions. Yeah, and if you uh, wanna stop recording, so we'll leave uh, the questions. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. Thank you so much for your presentation. I thought it was very um, informative and a very